Good afternoon, this is Paul Scott. I'm recording this at 13.08 on the 2nd of June 2015. It's a short 10 minute supplementary um, commentary to my small cap value report on Stockopedia, where I can cover things more briefly and talk about some shorts, which I'm not allowed to do on Stockopedia. So the first stock I want to talk about is plus 500. This has been an absolutely fascinating situation, which we've discussed a lot um, on Stockopedia and elsewhere. I actually started buying the stock, foolishly as it turned out, um, at around £5, and I carried on buying it all the way down to £2. So, now why won't that go to a, a shorter chart? Uh, so yeah, I started buying around here. The shorting attack really went for it at, at there. It spiked down as low as £2. Um, I think they exaggerated the bear case, although there were a lot of things about this company I didn't like, but I, I draw a distinction between a short-term trade and a long-term investment. I was in it for the bounce, not to be in it for the long term. Anyway, amazingly, a £4 bid has come along for all cash. It's an agreed bid from Playtech, but look at the share price. It's well below the bid price, and the FT, well, well actually I suggested in my report yesterday when the shares were 385 that... Um, the sensible thing to do would be to, to bank the gain because you've only had got 15p upside from, from that level um, but the bid could very easily fall through and that's something that the FT picked up on well not picked up on that's a conclusion they also came to independently saying that um, if the regulatory problems got worse then Playtech are free to withdraw from this bid so uh, I missed a trick actually I wish I'd shorted it at 385 because risk reward on a short position at that level I think would have been very good the you would have had 15p downside risk of the of the bid going through at four four pounds and maybe one pound fifty two pound upside if the if the bid fell through uh, the worst case scenario of course would be a higher competing bid but I'm not sure that's terribly likely so all in all I'm sort of hovering around this one at the moment considering opening a short position on it but I'm not going to do it at 365 but if it goes up to about sort of 380 385 uh, again I might well do the way I and now Chris Chris is it Crispin or Kristen Ode Crispin Ode his well, Ode I don't know Ode I think it is isn't it his funds have gone up to 25% of the company that was announced today so it looks like they're trying to sort of posture for the sort of blocking stake but uh, I think that's um, I think that's very much posturing because management have agreed the four pound bid. Now, that, what does that tell you? That tells you, firstly, given that management have large personal shareholdings, that tells you that four pound is a good price. Uh, management wouldn't have agreed it if it wasn't. Um, and it also, you know, and you can't you can't turn down a bid where management have have agreed it because. I mean, you can't tell them to get on with running a company. They didn't want to carry on running. So I think, I think OD will probably posture a lot and then eventually accept the four pound bid. I don't see there's any other option. If I mean, if say for example, plus five hundred lose their UK license or run into more severe regulatory problems, I think there could be considerable downside on it. So I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I think that's an interesting one. Right, moving swiftly on to character group this one's really shot up in the last two days following a tip by simon thompson in investors chronicle he wrote uh, an excellent article i think picking up on a lot of very good points um it's risen from four pound eleven a few days four pound seven a few days ago up to 454 today um this is one of my favorite stocks and has been since since about there where i wrote about it a number of times in the small cap value report saying what good value it was at around two pounds uh, am I tempted to sell at 454? Actually, I'm not, because it still looks good value. Forward PE of 11, and I think the broker forecast could well turn out to be too low. They don't seem to be consistent with the most recent very bullish trading updates. Stock rank is 98, which I always really like to see the Stockopedia computers um, confirming my stock picks. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm sitting tight on that. I think it could go a lot higher. DYOR, as usual. Uh, AVAP, this is Avation, the aircraft leasing business. I picked up on the fact that directors have been buying recently. There have been several significant director buys, so I followed them this morning and bought a few more myself. You can find director buys here by hovering over the accounts tab and clicking on directors dealings there. 
So here you've got a number of blue purchases, quite chunky amounts as well. 99 grand, 99 grand, 186, 700k. Wow, that's a hefty buy, isn't it? 70p. Those must have been options, I think, because look, that's way below the. Oh no, that's 2013. Maybe that was the market price at the time. Could well have been. Anyway, look, very shrewd buys. There have been a couple more in the last few days, I think. So um, I, I picked up a few of those personally this morning at £1.45. Uh, Zoopla, this is a stock I've been short on, but I had to partially, anyway, admit defeat um, because the stock just, just keeps running up and up and up. Uh, this shows how dangerous shorting can be. Uh, it's best for not pe most people not to even touch it. Probably best for me not to touch it. Uh, I shorted it there at £1.50. <laughs> the worst possible point to have shorted it. Uh, anyway, I threw in the towel on most of the position at about £2.30 because it was obviously going up at that level, and it has done. It's now up to 275 I think at some point it'll crash because um, the valuation's nuts. They bought a, a website, a, a utilities switching website, but their main um, Zoopla property website is actually going backwards. They've lost a lot of their agents to... Um, uh, on the market.com, a new competitor set up by estate agents themselves. So I th I'm watching and waiting on this one to increase my short again. Tungsten, that's come back down to the placing price of about 80p, which I'm not surprised about at all. Um, there's no reason for it to be above that, in my view. Ticking things off as I go. Globo, another stock I really don't like. Its accounts are dreadful, I think. I think the balance sheet looks. Um, highly suspect. Now they've announced, it's not come up on here, um, they've announced they're going for uh, uh, ADRs on the American market. Now how many, uh, 205 million market cap, UK, just check, is it AIM? I'm sure it is, yes. How many 200 million a AIM stocks have a list, a dual listing in the US, or an ADR in the US scheme, in the ADR, ADR scheme in the US? I think it's ridiculous. It's all fits with, um, the general thing that they want to pump the share price up as much as possible. I don't like that one one bit. Okay, running out of time rapidly here, so um, a few other results. Which one's caught my eye? Fast Jet. Now I just don't get this. This is an African airline that runs three planes at the moment. Absolutely hemorrhaging cash. Uh, the results are terrible. Revenues $53.8 million. Uh, it's a huge loss. I can't see it there. Oh, here it is. It's a bit further down. Underlying operating loss after exception of $24 million. I mean, I saw a broker note. They did a £50 million, pounds, I think, or dollars, I think it was pounds, £50 million fundraising after the year end. So they've got enough cash to keep going. I saw a broker note. That, yeah, there we go. £50 million pound fundraising. Why on earth people have funded it, I just do not know. It looks... Um, it looks an absolute crock to me. I saw a broker note this morning that it was forecasting when it's in grown considerably, they're expecting it to move into profit. But why pay up front for that, for a thing that's losing money hand over fist? So I don't like that one one bit. Uh, Paul there, nice little company, too expensive. There's a trading update here, what does this say? Underlying revenue growth with demand at or ahead of expectation in most markets. Maybe some profits will be ahead of those reported in 2014. Net cash. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really say anything about market expectations, though, and that's all that matters. So let's have a little look. I mean, I like this company. The CEO is a real class act, but it's just so expensive. Um, forward P of 21.5. Ah, Divi yield just over 1%. Too expensive for me. Uh, but I've been saying that since it was about one pound fifty. Uh, what else? Oh, AO World. I'm short of that one as well. Here we are, AO World. I thought these were pretty unimpressive, actually. Um, it's a box shifter of white goods that hardly makes any money. The UK. Um, six months ago, they started in Europe, but they're only up to a run rate of 19.8 million with a heavy loss. Um, it, it, the market cap's bonkers. It's far too expensive. Uh, we run out of time. I'm going to have to end it there. Okay, um, thanks for listening, stroke watching, and I will do these um, video updates um, as and when. Bye for now.